Inside the box, you'll find the manual. It has some general information on the ellipse. Next, you'll find two full units, two mouthpiece caps, two atomizer locks, two batteries, and a five pack of atomizers. Next, we have some replacement O rings, a wall charger. A pack of five cartridges, USB charger, and some sanitary caps. To assemble the ellipse, we will need one of the batteries, a mouthpiece cap, an atomizer lock. one of the tank cartridges, and an atomizer. Now we can set up the ellipse. First we'll need the battery. The battery has pass-through charging capability, which basically means you can have it plugged in and charging while you're using the device. It also has a five-click on and off feature, where you click the button five times within approximately 1.5 seconds, and it'll turn the device either on or off. Now the battery's turned on, and we can move on to the atomizer. The atomizer is the part that actually vaporizes the liquid and the atomizer sits right inside the battery. Next, the atomizer lock. you notice has two O-rings on it. The black one stretched around the outside and the clear one right around the inside. This helps to make a firmer seal and it's what the replacement O-rings are for. Atomizer lock sits on top of the battery at basically a 90 degree angle and then it twists clockwise to lock it on. At this point, it's a good idea to prime your atomizer. Priming the atomizer will help prevent you get from getting a burnt taste when you go to use the unit for the first time. To prime it, it takes just a drop of liquid right on top of the atomizer spike and just let that absorb in. Now that the atomizer is primed, we can go ahead and fill up our tank cartridge. The cap that comes with a tank cartridge is so you can Pre-fill your tank cartridges and carry them around with you if you choose. To fill your tank, tip of your liquid bottle goes inside the hole on the top and just fill it all the way up. The tension within the cartridge will hold the liquid in so there's no need to worry of it dripping out. The tank cartridge snaps into the atomizer lock. And at this point, we can place the mouthpiece cap onto the unit and is ready to use.